Hello, YouTube. This is Dell Latitude D610. This is my most recent addition to my fleet. And it came with this Dell laptop bag right here, which is awesome. And I'm definitely going to use this thing, even though it's old and ugly, maybe, to some. But I think it's awesome. Anyway, this laptop itself is practically unscuffed. It only has, like, a few minor marks on it. The lid is almost completely immaculate. Let's just take a look at that surface. Just a bit of dust there. As you can see, no real scratching at all. Just on the inside are a couple of scratches because it's been used. Not very extensively, I must say. But here on this side of the laptop, we have a PCMCIA slot. Just one type but one or type two card is supported, so no type threes. Microphone headphone jacks right here. I'll just put it up in the light so you can see it better. Infrared next to it, right here. There's the Kensington lock. You know what? Let me just unplug this damn thing and we can turn it around in the light so we can actually see what what the frick we're doing. I think that could happen. That uh, could help a little bit. I have more junk than I have space. The joys of a collector. Anyway, so here is the DVD combo drive. It can uh, write CDs and read DVDs. And of course, this button for the uh, Dell D Bay, if I'm not mistaken. Here are USB 2.0 ports. I've never really owned a Dell as my personal machine, so this is uh, very interesting. Here's the Gigabit Ethernet port. Powered by a Broadcom Net Extreme Gigabit controller. Yes, video out. Two USB ports. 56K modem. Parallel serial VGA power and the air vent, which is very very important, or else it will cook itself to death. Okay. So that pretty much covers the top and the sides and the back on the laptop. On the bottom, there's not really much going on. This is uh, where the hard drive is located. It says strikes on there, so you can hit it with a hammer. A rubber hammer, of course, people. So you can uh, wreck the disk before you throw the laptop out. Here's the battery, which still holds a charge. As you can see, it's fully charged. On the bottom is a docking connector, an air intake. This is the modem door, and here is the memory underneath the Windows XP COA. This thing is not running XP, though. It's running Windows 7. Home premium 32 bit. It has 2 gigabytes of RAM, DDR2. Let's see, let me plug the Ethernet in. It does have Wi Fi though, but I prefer Ethernet. And it has a Pentium M1.73 gigahertz, Dothan Core. It can run Windows 8. I tried it, but I couldn't get the uh, onboard uh, Intel GMA900 working on Windows 8. Because the XP driver refuses to load, so. Let's enter setup here. Let's see if, I, if the screen brightness is at max. Yeah, it is. System info, latitude D610. The BIOS is AO5 from 2005. I'm going to see if that's actually updatable. I think it should be. For new processor support and stuff. So it can uh, run the Pentium M780. Which is a 2.13 gigahertz, I believe. It's the fastest thing can take. So, memory 2 gigs of DDR2 in dual channel mode. It only supports up to a PC2 4200 though. Let's see, Intel 915 GM graphics. That's the GMA 900. Sigma Tel audio. Battery is fully charged. Not much else here to speak of. So let's just exit and boot into Windows 7. It boots uh, reasonably quickly for uh, this old of a machine. I've uh, disabled the Windows Basic theme and I've actually uh, put it in Windows Classic mode and it seems to run pretty darn well. And 2 gigabytes of RAM also helps of course. And yeah, I've modified the login screen. <laughs> 
I thought it was pretty awesome anyway. It's very easy to do and it's a nice little touch. So you might ask what I what do I really want to do with this laptop? Well, it's it's pretty much for work. I had a job interview uh, yesterday. And uh, that went very well. I got the job, so that's pretty cool. And I'm going to be uh you know, assisting people with, with the computer problems over the course of the next uh, 6 months. So so that would be pretty cool. So I can use this laptop for troubleshooting network problems mostly. Is that what this is really uh, used for? And of course, I'm going to use it as my uh, Windows uh, PC on the go. I don't have any other laptops anymore that can run Windows, and I can at least run a reasonably recent uh, recent uh, version of Windows. That's what I wanted to say. Thank you, Brain, for fucking me up today. Anywho, uh, so this is Windows 7 right here. Yeah, that's not visible. Anyway, it's Windows 7 on premium 32 bit, serves back 1. It's activated. I'm not gonna say it's illegal, because it's not. I don't do that. Microsoft can kiss my ass with their overpriced licenses. Gets a 1.0 in Windows Experience Index, which is the most pointless benchmark ever, people. 1.9 on the graphics, 1.0 on gaming, because it doesn't have a WDDM driver, just XDDM. XP driver, model driver. 3.3 uh, .3 in the CPU, 4.4 RAM, 4.3 disk. It's a 40 gig drive. I don't think it's even 5400 RPM, so... You know, that's the part where it's a bit lacking. I'm, uh, I'm considering uh, getting like a 160 gig IDE drive for this thing, like a new one. And we'll see how that goes. I suppose it would be a hell of a lot better than uh, running this 40 gig. It's big enough. I'm never going to fill up 40 gigs on this system. And uh, everything runs reasonably well. I could have run Windows XP on this thing, but... Uh, eh, I really don't like Windows XP anymore. It's not supported anymore, and I'm really going to take this to clients. So I want at least a semi... You know, protected system. This is at least a little bit more secure. And well, a hell of a lot more secure than XP is. Windows 7 without a virus scanner is even more secure than Windows XP with the latest Norton Internet Security, let's face it. That operating system is just totally crappy. Anyway, enough on a Windows XP rant. There's really not much I can show you on here, just the fact that it runs pretty well with first opening programs. As you can see, Firefox came out pretty quickly. I mean, my desktop does that slower under Windows uh, 7, so, you know, that's uh, that's something. Web pages take a little longer to load, and of course, if you have a faster CPU, YouTube is pretty much a no-go. 360p works most of the time pretty well, but the fact that this thing only has Intel GMA 900 graphics means that the uh, graphics acceleration isn't really working all that well. So your CPU is pretty much on its own. But yeah, I think I've uh, said enough about this laptop for now for this overview video going to uh, shut her down. Hope you enjoyed this video and uh, I thank you all for watching.